putting Next Haven together. We had a number of different relationships in the community, uh, many professors who work here. And just as we started to kind of explain what we were doing, um, it became obvious that you know, this is a case um, where the students could kind of learn about how to really make um, strides and develop new, uh, new ideas in certain kinds of neighborhoods. And so they approached us to see if we would like to turn into a multimedia case, and we thought that was an excellent idea. What was the problem that Next Haven is going to solve for, for the artist? Yeah, so it kind of really started simply with uh, Titus and I trying to solve the problem with our studios being so far apart. And we'd have all these curators, collectors, they would come by and they would want to, they'd say, hey, I'm here all day, show me other artists' studios. And so that was kind of the, the original impetus was to kind of create this central hub it's grown quite a bit from that. So the Next Haven case uh, provides a really interesting set of themes for us to explore. Uh, the case allows us to think about the uh, financial model for putting a project like this together in a way that really advances the art careers of the cohort of artists that you bring into that space, while at the same time uh, extends some benefits to the broader neighborhood uh, and, and community in which it's located. And so we started looking for a building. And so the story part where I, I told him it was crazy, it was more related to this building that he wanted me to look at. And it was a wreck and he, his, he was kind of like, hey, it's only $500,000. And I was like, it should be free. <laughs> the way we did the case is combining two different classes. We're combining a commercial real estate class and an economic development and urban poverty class together in one to talk about these issues. We talk a lot about how Communities can be revitalized without losing creativity and culture, um, and I think that's really like at the core of what Next Haven is doing. The motivation for the class is to find potentially transformative projects that present opportunities for students to think about where they could take this. A question just to follow up, this uh, balance between excellence uh, and engagement. Community engagement is like a buzzword and it doesn't mean the same thing to everybody. You know, we've been really intentional in designing multiple ways into the project. It's part of putting the question back on someone, right, which is like, well, how do you want to be involved? You know, maybe it's through public programming, maybe it's through um, use of the theater and other kind of spaces where we're centering art and artists kind of voice and experience um, that they find a way in, right? It's not just a finance case, it's not just a case about uh, urban renewal. It's not just a case about the business of the arts. It requires you to think through all of these different perspectives as a student and uh, to think about a strategy that would make not just Next Haven work, but a strategy that would benefit uh, New Haven. The original investors are looking for a social return. Like they, they know that this is about the community, that their investment, um, really in us, um, will um, impact the growth of that community, and that's really what they care about. But what having this institution allows us to do or um, engage in the other sorts of services and activities that we would like to do in that building beyond just training artists. So we're also building an incubator for small businesses because our hy hypothesis and belief is that there is a commercial aspect to changing neighborhoods, and that's done through um, entrepreneurism and you know taking risks. So, so often you have a million more questions after you've read a case. You want to know why exactly something happened. You want to know a little bit more about the details. You don't understand something. So to have those people there, to have a conversation, um, often to go into the gray areas of a case, it's, it's not as black and white as often cases are presented. Uh, I think that's hugely helpful. That's another great thing about coming to Yale is that you get to actually meet a lot of these people that you read about in cases. What I'm optimistic about is I think um, we're going to figure it out. So, so my hope is that uh, students understand how difficult this can be and that you need to be thinking about um, all aspects of development and it's not simply about the idea but it's also about you know understanding the strategy and the components of what make um, any org makes any organization successful um, and the other thing I would like for them to get out of it is more of um, you know a point of view or a constitution and that is you know it's a lot of hard work and that you know, at every turn you may have to pivot and make different decisions, but, you know, if you're, um, you know, committed, that typically there's a, there's a way forward. I think what I got from this case is that sometimes 
there are problems in our lives that we're trying to solve that you can solve by doing something much bigger. They wanted this cool artist, creative, collaborative community. So it was this really cool combination of very different backgrounds. You had the artist coming together with the investor, uh, looking at how do you make a sustainable business, but also how to make a huge impact. You're seeing leaders from very different sectors come together um, to do something really cool. And I think that is really representative of the student body here at SOM. It's really important to understand the complexities, the nuances, the gray space.